What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Woo! Finally starting to feel a little bit better after that 10,000 calorie challenge. Take it from me kids, don't try it at home. Skip that one. Instead, just watch my video, smash that thumbs up button, and go about your merry day. Because uh, you don't need that type of suffering in your life, you don't. Instead, you need recipes like this one, they're gonna help you get jacked, lean, and a handsome Squidward face, all without sacrificing on flavor and the foods you love, man. How about that? Today we are making anabolic bodybuilding deep dish pizza for the entire week. You're not just gonna get one pizza, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna get seven. Not only is this stupid simple to whip up, guys, anybody can do it. You can really add whatever you want, man. It's your pizza, your choice. Except pineapple, for the love of God, no pineapple. And I'm telling you, all it's gonna take is one bite into this thing and you're gonna come back here and say, Rem, I believe, my friend, you've earned that subscription. Click bell rung. And as always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in my description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of my meal prep recipes, my breakfast, my desserts, my dough, Nuts. I'm basically taking the foods that we all love, but I'm making the anabolic versions high in protein, low in calories, extra filling, and extra delicious. But don't take my word for it, man. Just give this recipe a shot. Start with this one. And hopefully it convinces you that the anabolic diet is the best thing going. You get it one time, you get every future recipe update for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! We need to be able to make these pizzas in reheatable, storable containers. So I'm using these mini loaf pans. It's a couple bucks at the grocery. You get a pack of five. You can just buy a couple packs. You're gonna do the whole week, but make as many as you want, man. World's your oyster, your choice. So I've laid out my seven trays, one for every day of the week. And the first thing we gotta do with pizza is get our crust ready. Let's do it. So I'm gonna place a large mixing bowl on top of a food scale. That way I can weigh everything out. And the first ingredient for the crust is 56 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. If you've never had fat-free cheddar cheese before and you're scared of it, I'm telling you, don't be. It melts good, it's gonna taste good in this recipe. Just you try it, bud. And next, we just gotta throw in 56 grams of fat-free cream cheese. It's gonna give this a real nice texture. Then we just pour in 46 grams of liquid egg whites, just a little bit. And finally, we're just gonna toss in a gram of garlic powder, a gram of oregano, about half a gram of crushed red peppers. You can skip this step if you want. And this is also optional, but about a gram of salt. It's gonna make it taste better though. And then now we're just gonna go in with a spoon and slowly mix everything together. The main goal being to get this fat-free cream cheese all broken up and incorporated with everything else. And now that our crust is all mixed up, we're just gonna get one of our tins, hit it with nonstick spray, and then slowly spoon our crust mixture down in here. And if you're this far into the recipe, this should be smelling pretty dang good. And boom, one of our deep dish pizza crusts is officially done. All the ingredients listed, everything I just showed you was for one of these bad boys. If you're trying to do multiple days, like I'm about to do, you just gotta do a little bit of math. Multiply the ingredients by the amount of days. 56 grams of cheddar turns into 336 grams if I'm making six more. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let's do the rest of these. And would you look at that, all of our crust is done. Now what we wanna do is cook the crust separately before we add any toppings, that way it kinda locks it into place. We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Whoop, whoop. And don't you go anywhere because I'm telling you, we're about to heat things up, boom. And after just 20 minutes in the oven, you'll see what happened to our crust here. Look at this. It's firm, but not quite all the way done because we do have a second cycle in the oven. So we have seven of our crusts done. Now let's build. So the first step, 63 grams of pizza sauce or a marinara sauce. Doesn't really matter. We're just gonna slowly pour that right on here and watch that scale. Perfect. Then just go in with a spoon and flatten her out. Now we just top this with 56 grams of fat-free mozzarella cheese. Just try to spread it around nice and even on here. And then last, we just need about 15 grams of turkey pepperoni. Just gonna try to space these out a little bit, make it look pretty. Perfect. And now we have one of our bodybuilding deep dish pizzas ready to go in the oven. And like I said earlier, all we gotta do is a little multiplication and we're gonna be able to do the rest of these pizzas really easily. Let's go. 
And there you have it. Just a few minutes of time and we got seven days worth of bodybuilding pizzas ready to go. We just have one final step. All we gotta do, toss these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and they're gonna be melty, gooey, and ooh, just you wait, man. Whoop. Slide them in. And ladies and gentlemen, here momentarily, we're gonna have something magical. I promise. Let's go. And here we go, man. Bodybuilding deep dish pieces for the entire week, ready to go. And I just wanna show you something real quick. I'll get down in here and you pull out Ooh, it's cheesy, it's delicious, loads of flavor in here. I'm telling you, man, all it's gonna take is one bite and you're gonna be sold on it. And as far as storing them goes, these do come with lids when you buy these pans. So flip her to the side, snap a little lid on her. You can throw it in the fridge or the freezer. If you wanna reheat it, just throw it back in the oven at 350 degrees for like 15 minutes if it's fridged, a little bit longer if it's frozen. Or if you're taking it to work and you gotta use a microwave, you obviously don't wanna do it in that. So use a fork, spoon it out onto a plate, microwave the plate for like a minute, and you're good, man. Perfect little anabolic piece. Pizzas. And it wouldn't be an RJF video without a little taste test. So I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, man, it's showtime. Final Boss joggers. How many days in a row we've been rocking these? I'm going to keep doing it until you go to finalbossathletics.com. Use code RJF10 and get you a pair. These digital camo ones are money. Before I eat my pizza, I am going to take a scoop of Final Boss greens just to make sure I get that nutrition in, you know? Hm. Woo! Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free to ship and code RJF10 saves you 10%. All right, let's get down to this pizza goodness, man. She's cooled down a little bit, but that doesn't mean she's gonna be any less good. We got sauce, we got cheese, we got pepperoni. The perfect bite. Three, two, one, there I go. These things are freaking incredible. The way the crust is like a separate texture, but it's still like gooey, but it's got all that flavor in it. And obviously the cheese, the pepperoni, the marinara. Son, you can't beat it. I know I just showed you how to make these for the week, but it's gonna be really hard to not eat all of them at once. Honest question for you guys out there. How can you fail at a diet when you are eating delicious food like this? Unless you flat out are cheating on it and going through the drive-thru and not taking the time to cook it, I don't think you can really lose. And if I get just the crust there, just the crust, and we take a, that by itself is good. <laughs> and then you combine it all together. Wow, big fan. And if you're freaked out by the fact that we use fat-free cheese, I'm telling you, don't overthink it. Put the recipe together, try it, and you're gonna realize like if someone handed this to you and didn't tell you that it was healthy, you'd have no idea. You'd think it was just pizza. You just gotta get out of your own head, man. We use the fat-free versions because we're saving a ton on calories. We're adding a ton of protein to it, right? The more protein you're eating, the more anabolic your body is. The more likely you are in a calorie deficit to burn body fat off you for fuel instead of muscle. Don't end up skinny fat, man. Eat your protein. Don't be scared of it. And when you shift all the ingredients in what you're cooking over to the high protein versions, right? You just do a couple tweaks to your favorite things. There's really no food that's off limits, man. They told me for years that I couldn't have pizza and still make results. But if you follow me on Instagram, you see how often I eat pizza. It's almost every night in this household. And with a recipe like this, feel free to modify it if you want to throw some banana peppers on top, right? Some other low calorie veggies. Ain't, ain't gonna do nothing that's gonna affect this negatively if you just throw those on there. Throw some peppers in there, right? Tweak it, however. I just try with these recipes, with my cookbook, everything. I'm showing you guys the basics, right? Here's how you make the basic one. You wanna go crazy and add maybe a layer of pepperoni down there, layer of ham, some turkey sausage, go right ahead. All I'm trying to do is show you that it isn't just chicken, rice, and broccoli and pitiful little salads and hating your diet. You don't gotta do any of those things to see results, man. I thought if you go back five years ago on my channel and you see the videos I was dropping in the beginning, I was brainwashed. I thought that's what you had to do. But I'm telling you, you don't. You can eat fun foods like this. You can make little pizzas. You can make ice cream, French toast, donuts, cookies. You can have all that, right? You just gotta make the better choice. Make the better version of it. If you don't believe me, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and you're gonna see me eat this stuff in every video. I practice what I preach and I put almost every meal I eat on Instagram. Now to the fun part. In just one of these mini deep dish pizzas, what you end up with is for the whole pizza, 319 calories, only three grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. 52 grams of protein, 319 calories. My goal is to hit 200 grams of protein a day. I eat four of these, I'm at my goal. And that's only 1300 calories if we're rounding up, which means for me, my daily calorie intake is between 2,500 to 3,000. So I can eat whatever I want for the other 1,500 or so calories. It's, it's, I mean, that's how it works, man. The only two things you gotta worry about is your calorie intake and your protein intake, man. Don't 
overthink it. I deal with a lot of clients and they want to overanalyze it. Well, I feel better when I have this many carbs or I need to do this much. I'm like, don't freaking overthink it. Hit your calorie goal, hit your protein goal, and that is it. Don't make this more complicated than it's got to be, man. That is it. If you still don't believe me, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm laying all the tools right here in front of you. If you're having trouble building muscle, burning fat, staying lean, but yet you won't listen to my advice, then I don't know what to tell you, bud. I don't know what to tell you. But you know how that old saying goes. Give a man a sandwich, feed him for a day. Teach a man a sandwich, and he'll live forever. Forever. And final bite. I think the crust is better than the pizza part of it. Seriously. Even if you don't use these containers, use another baking dish and try this out. Because you literally, you got to get this in your mouth ASAP. You got to tag me on Instagram and let me know what you think. Because this combination is, is freaking incredible. Real talk. And as always, man, if you have the RJF recipe book, it has been updated. This recipe's in here along with every other one of my recipes. Step-by-step -step instructions, every ingredient, the macros, the calories, the fiber, the protein, everything is listed, right? All you got to do is get in that kitchen and make yourself something magical. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. Well, even though we're at the bottom of it, I'm going to do a little finger scraping. Don't judge. Appreciate you guys as always for watching. Smash thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. Comment anything down below. Every single comment, even if it's an eggplant, even if it's a cucumber, helps the algorithm. Helps more people see the, the channel. More exposure, more growth. And I like growth. Comment if there's anything specifically you want to see me make a week's worth of and a good tasting, healthy way to do it. Make sure you do that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. Video. See you guys. <laughs> Out of here, baby. Now go make some games.